Hello everybody, welcome back to another competitive map overview. My name is Sivakoji, or Sivakiji, and welcome to the Zone Gaming Go. So, the competitive map overviews is basically when we kind of take a map, dissect it, kind of feel the competitiveness of the map, and see if it's actually viable in certain ways, or in competitive matches in the Zone Gaming Go, or whatever competitively you play One Piece Burning Blood. So, we're going to be talking about the Marine Frozen Sea, and I will tell you, I will be going through the Marine Oris plaza as well as the marine ford battlefield because i believe tbaz wants to know the difference between all three maps this is not going to be one giant video I, this is going to be a video for each one of the uh the maps in particular so um first off, i want to say something about the marine ford uh frozen sea is that it is literally like a barren wasteland honestly it's like um it's a it's a it's an oval type shape and it's like one, I, in my opinion, I find it as one of the most basic maps, but we're kind of getting to it just so you can see a little bit more about what what I mean by that. So we're going to, as always, we're going to be using Kaziru, um, Kuma, and Sabo for this demonstration. Now, uh, whether this map appears in competitively in tournaments and stuff, I say sometimes. I believe I use it every now and again when I'm playing as a Kiji. If I'm playing as ranged characters, it's very vi very good with ranged characters because there's like, like I said, barren wasteland. And you'll see here in a second. So you started at a re reasonably close range to your opponent. We're going to get over here. That's a very important um, aspect there. The beginning is very, very important. So if you are playing with a rain based team at the Marine Ford um, Battlefield, uh, you have to be very, very vigilant um, and just kind of get out of there as soon as you know to match up against something like that. So, if, like someone like a nail can easily get out of their special movement, and there's nothing blocking your path. You know, usually um, you'll have an issue with that, but not not today. So, um, how does this work? Okay, so we're looking over here at the map here. The map is an oval type shape, so the further I, I move back, the more distance I get from Ace and myself. This is a large map. This is a large, barren wasteland map. Okay, so you'll see these little uh, ice things here. They really have no value at all whatsoever. Um, honestly, they're they're just there. They're just uh, soft obstacles, just for just for like the you know just to give the map a little bit of substance. Um, they have no competitiveness at all whatsoever. Um, it just makes the map completely empty. So when playing with strange characters, you don't have to worry about uh, obstacles getting your way, obstacles blocking your uh, range moves, like for Anel and Gecko Mariah. Well, not Gecko. Uh, like let's say. Frankie, some of Frankie's moves, um, maybe some of Kazeru's moves, some of Sable's moves. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. Well, Sable's don't, no, Sable's go through block, uh, buildings anyway. Actually, now that I think about it, or Kuma's pad cannon. So, um, with this map, you can basically range down. This is the map for range characters. Now, most people will say Dress Rosa, uh, but Dress Rosa has a lot of buildings, and um, they can soak up one good range attack and something. That's some, that can each times be like a dependable factor when you're trying to win the match. So if you're playing as a range-based team, this map is ideal for you. If you're playing as a close-range team, um, if you're playing against a character that is hard for you to get in on, this map will literally make it impossible for you to do it, or almost near impossible for you to do it now, because there's no buildings to soak up range moves, so you're just going to be, like, at the mercy of every, every character. Like, here's, like, Frankie, um, and Gecko, Mariah, and perhaps, who can I name for another example? I think those are the only two I can think of. Oh, Crocodile will make you make it hell for you on this map because you can't really do anything with them. Now, Crocodile, he gets rid of builders anyway, but it's the element of surprise that really allows you to get close with close range characters against these teams. Um, and with and with this map, you do not have that ability. There's nothing here to like shield you from um, the rangeness of what you have to go through. You probably get chipped to death before you even reach any of these range characters in a fight. Now, like I said, there's not really much we can say about this map. You start at a close range whenever you do a um. A unity. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, whenever you do a unity, you actually knock the opponent into a smaller stat, but he's still far away. You can't, you can't um give him enough pressure in that side of the map. Um, so it, if it, if you're playing as a range team, like I said before, this is ideal for you. If you can actually hit a person in this state, you can have an opportunity to back up and you know give yourself a chance to relax. Now, if you're playing as a character that actually flip flops, like Sabo here, and he actually turns to the other side of the screen, ooh, that's again. Why am I doing that? Just don't do anything. Okay, so now he flip flops. So that's the whole other side of the screen there, or other side of the map. In that case, um, how can I say, characters that flip flop, 
I gotta say this. Because there's not many characters that do the flip-flop thing. We'll have to be vigilant because there's a lot of space in between you and your opponent, or you, you in the end of the field. If you flip-flop, you won't be able to go for corners or anything like that because it's just too far away. It's an oval shape, and you basically start at the very middle of the oval um, to the side. It's like, I think it says, I think it said crescent. It's a crescent shape here. So um, what you have to watch out for when you're playing is if you're going for a range-based team on this map, then you probably should not go for a character that actually flip-flops. Uh, so Sabo is probably not ideal if you if you don't want to do it or play with that character, or you can just not go into his unity chain. Um, but once you actually relieve pressure, possibly with Kaziru or Kuma, person's being knocked away, and then you can just like do whatever you want and stuff like that. So that's the comparison to this map. There's not much to say about this Barren Wasteland. Um, Okay, well, I guess I'm just wrapping it up here. Anything else you guys want to know about any of the other maps, I will be doing the other Marine Ford map soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, enjoy playing One Piece Burning Blood.